ओम ईश्वर गुरु रात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य अस्मदाचार्य वंदे गुरु परंपरा सह वीर ओम शांति 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 ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन व्यासेनता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायी अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अंबत्वामुसंदी भगवत गीते भगवत्षिणी अंबत्वामुसंदी भगवत्षिणी यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र ऋत गायम साम ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्यन्ति योगिन यदुसुरासुरगणा देवाय तस्म
पुषम शाश्वत दिव्य शिर्नारदस्त Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Asito devalo vyasah. Asito devalo vyasah. Yes, ma'am. Vayam cheva bravishi me. वदसी केशव वदति केशव नही ते भगवन व्यक्ति कैन यू हियर मी अगेन प्रॉब्लम लुक्स लाइक कनेक्शन इज वेरी वेरी स्लो वन मिनिट आई एम ट्राइंग वन मोर सो आई राइट नाउ आई हैव केप्ट ऑन हॉट स्पॉट so let me bring new oh, one minute let's see swayam eva atmanatma tvam swayam eva atmanatmanam हेलो त्रुषा मने तमारो बोलो आप मने व्हाट्सएप हां नती चालतो એટલે हां वेथत्वम पुरुषोत्तम वेथत्वम पुरुषोत्तम भूत भवन भूतेश भूत भवन भूतेश देव देव जगत पते देव देव जगत पते वक्तुम अर्हस्य शेषेण
वक्तुम दिव्यात्म विभूत <coughs> so we have completed <coughs> this Nine, ten, and eleventh verse, which is very important. So, in ninth verse, Bhagwan says, "Matchitaha madagat pranaha bodha yantaf parasparam katha yantas chamam nityam tushyanti charamanti cha." So, there are some people who has given their mind to me. Madgat pranaha means one who has given their lives to me. Parasparam bodhayantah. They teach each other kathayantascha mamnityam. Always they talk about me. Tushyanticha ramanticha. They always satisfy with me and they revel in me. For these people, Bhagwan says, Tesham satata yukta naam bhajatam priti purvakam. One who are always with me and they, a small pedestal here, something. Satat bhajatam priti purvakam. One who always seek me out of love for them, buddhi yogam dadami. The meaning of buddhi yogam means I give the vision of oneness, buddhi yogam, for because of this vision of oneness, mam upayanti te, they always reach me, they get me, they understand me. And last we have seen, Bhagwan says, Tesham eva anukampartham, out of compassion for them only, aham, which type of me, Bhagwan says, atma bhavastaha, I always obtain in their mind. And what Bhagavan says, he says, Aham agnana jam tamaha nashayami. Bhagavan says, I just destroy the darkness. This darkness which is born out of ignorance that I will destroy. In which way? Gnana deepe na paswata. Because of the shining, because of the brightness of Lamp of the knowledge that we have seen. And now Arjuna has asked one question. He is, he is request, I would like to see your glories. Otherwise, I would like to hear your glories. Now we are, we will see this one. So Shankarajaji says, Yathoktam Bhagavatah Vibhutim Yogancha Shrut I think this will work. Oh. So Yathoktam Bhagavatah Vibhutim Yogancha Shrutva Yathoktam As it is Bhagavatva Bhagavataha Vibhutim Bhagavataha Yogam Vibhutim means glory of Ishvara in Yogam Cha. We have seen the vision of oneness of Ishvara Yathoktam. Having discussed in previous all chapters, 
having listened all this arjuna uvach now arjuna spoke in what arjuna has spoken so he says he ishwar or oh lord who are you so he says param brahma oh lord you are limitless brahman param dham you are limitless the light of the light paramam pavitram you are ultimate pavitram means auspicious purifier bhavan means o oh you purusham we will see in detail purusham we have always is there are two meanings of purusham one meaning is purayati sarvam purayati sarvam which is fill up everything by its consciousness it's called purusham so in purusha suktam the meaning is purusha means one who fills up everything by its consciousness that is called purusham and another meaning of purush purusha means navatware pure dehi our own body consider as a city in which has nine door one who resides in this is also called purusha so here the meaning of purusha means purayati sarvam as well as we can see one who also available obtains in each and every body's body purusham shashvatam you are eternal divyam so we have seen the meaning of divyam little bit we have seen last week divyam means which is not available in this world it's called divyam adi deva you are the lord of everyone adi means first one you are the cause of everyone ajam you are unborn vibhu you are all pervading consciousness vibhavanam means all pervading consciousness we will see this all later but who are telling everything so this is the connection last time also we have started from 13th verse so arjuna says ahu hu twam this is the sentence twam ahu hu twam means you ahu hu means call tell so sarve rushayah twam ahu hu all rushaya are telling devarshi naradah twam ahu hu asitah rushihi the name of one rushi twam ahu hu devalah the name of another rushi is devala rushi also call about you vedavyasah vedavyasacharya twam ahu hu are also tell you and ultimate arjuna says swayam cheva bravishi me even you yourself swayam means yourself me bravishi you have talk about you and what bhagwan has talk about this is what we have seen in previous verse so actually in this verse he says there are two type of rushis rushis are two type one who is available in devaloka and who are available in bhuloka so who is available in devaloka so devarshi narada narad rushi is not from this bhuloka actually narada has free visa you know he can go everywhere according to pujya swami ji he can travel everywhere but still narad is belongs to devabhumi so devarshi narada otherwise all names of rushis belongs to bhuloka so asitah rushi hi devalah rushi hi vyas rushi so sarve we can say both type of sarve rushayah means devaloka rushayah as well as 
one who are ava available in this world this prithvi loka all rushi tum aao ko they call about you who you are and not only this rushis but you yourself me praveshi you tell me about your truth who are you and the truth of the ishvara is given in previous verse so now if we go again to previous verse so he says all rushis devar devar rushi bhuloka rushi says you are param brahma you are limitless consciousness brahman param dhamma you are ultimate jyoti the light actually there is a dhamma there is a word dhamma it has two meaning abode also tad dhamma paramam mama yat gatva na nivartante tad dhamma paramam mama in another meaning of dhamma means light so if we analysis both word so if we are talking about some abode like you know vaikutha something kailas dhamma it is not ultimate abode yat gatva we can come back nivartante so even the abode is also ultimate when we reach there we need not to come back so this abode is nothing but to one self is a, i am all pervading consciousness so both have meaning is same but sometimes they have taken as a abode in 15th chapter and here shankaracharya will say is a tej means light but light is because of which all light sustain like i have not mentioned but every day karpur niranjana we used to say na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam nema vidyuto bhati kuto yam agni hi tameva bhantam anubhati sarve so tameva bhantam there is a one meaning is bhantam means this light because of your light everything is anubhati they shine after you anubhantam anubhati sarve so we think surya is a self effulgent na tatra suryo bhati na chandra taraka we think even moon not now after knowing this but chandra then taraka there are many stars everything they think all are self shine but it says na suryo na agni hi na vidyuta so to to make this understand easily puja sami ji used to tell is a good story very good story from bhagavatam he used to say krishna has asked mother yashoda oh mother i need a milk at 11:30 am and at that time there is a no freeze is available nothing so what is the tradition at that time they say they milk all the cows in the morning and they used to go they used to go for grazing they go outside the no cows are available and whatever milk is available they put you know for a starter for curd yogurt so milk is not available then krishna has asked yashoda please give me milk so yashoda thinks krishna is very small baby so she says when dark when dark means when night will come i will give you so when darkness will come i will give you because at that time again cows will come back they starts milking a new fresh milk i will provide you so when he our yashoda says when darkness will start i will give you so immediately krishna has closed his eye and he says now darkness i cannot able to see anything now give me the milk so at that time puja swami ji used to say we think always generally we thinks in the morning sun bhati bhati means shines 
and after sun all objects are anubhati anubhati means they shines after sun without sun we cannot able to see anything so all objects including or everybody's bodies are anubhati but when krishna has closed his eyes the meaning is even sun is not bhati but our eyes bhati means our chakshu bhati and sun is anubhati so now all calculation has been changed when bhagwan says to chakshu means i is bhati and even surya is anubhati so even after surya chakshu bhati so there are many we have gone through many experiences i don't know in foreign but in mumbai the people used to go very early for their job and they come very late in their home back so while in morning you know wife used to give some breakfast something and she asked how is the breakfast what i have prepared for your breakfast but that person's mind is always to catch that train so he doesn't know what he is eating he just gulp it out so he says very nice but when she asked what you have asked what is the today's nashta or breakfast so the poor person doesn't know means even chakshu sees our eye sees the breakfast but if our mind is not behind the eyes in spite of seeing we are not seeing anything so he says chakshu is again anubhati but manaha means mind bhati even when we go to sleep mind also goes to sleep and at that time we know even mind goes to sleep after we wake up we always used to say i had good sleep so there is someone who even waking when we are going to sleep and who is that so he says that chaitanya tattva it's only bhati other things are anubhati this is called param dham one who shines self effulgent it's called param dham even we take a board so same meaning will come in every abode if we go in bhul even in swarga loka even brahma loka even kailas dhama if we are not prepared we have to come back so this is not ultimate dhama so to whom we can call is the ultimate abode yat gatva na nivartante by reaching this we should not come back and what is that place it is not any place but it is only knowledge only so here dham is abode but param dham means by knowing oneself is i am the abode of everything same way here is light self effulgent that consciousness is ishvara so it is called paramam dham then this consciousness is ishvara is paramam pavitram there are many purifiers are available starts from even agni he is purifier even uh, when air is purifier even all these rivers are purifier but ultimate purifier is they are not ultimate because if we take a dip inside the ganga or ganges and we come back this all pap punya will again starts to stick us but pavitram parama means one who is ultimate purifier where there is no any type of uh, um, impurities and ultimate impurities is punya is also impurity and even papa so pavitram parama means that consciousness that ishvara doesn't have punya papa that's why it is called pavitram parama ultimate auspicious ultimate purifier purusham we have seen purayati sarvam jagat brahmanam 
Chaitanya Tattvena, it is called Purusham. Shashvatam means eternal. Divyam, which is not available in this Mother Earth, which is called Divyam. Adi Devam, it is the cause of all Deva. Adi means cause, Deva means all Devtas. One who is the cause of all Devtas is Ajam, which is unborn and Vibhu, all pervading. I used to say in uh, Brahman Vyakya in Taitriya Upanishad, this Satyam Gyanam Anantam Brahma, it is given in Taitriya Upanishad. So what is the meaning of Anantam? Ananta means, we say, which is not bound by time, which is not bound by any space, and which is not bound by any object. Vastutaha kalataha, abadit. This is the called the definition of Ananta. When we say it is not bound by time, so it not subject to birth. So this is called Ajam, which is not subject to, which is not connected with time. It is called Ajam, unborn. When we say it is not bound by any particular space, means it is unlimited, is pervading, all pervading. It is called Vibhum. And which is not bound by any object, it is called Ekameva Advitiyam, which here it is not mentioned. So whenever we say Ananta means Ekam, Evam Advitiyam, Sarva Vyapakam, all pervading, Ajam, which doesn't have even birth also, which doesn't have end also. So here Bhagavan has mentioned two things. Ajam means which is not bound by time. Vibhu means which is not bound by any, any type of space. It is called Vibhu. That is the Ishwara Swarupa. This Swarupa is talking about all Rushis of Dev, Devarshi, means Devaloka, Rushis of this Bhu Loka, and even Bhagwan himself talk about in this Gita. So now Shankaracha is not given much description here. So the meaning of Param Brahma is Shankaracha is written only Paramatma. Param means limitless, Atma means consciousness. So whenever Atma comes, so Atma means consciousness, Param means limitless. So this Shri Krishna's nature is Param Brahma. So it's limitless consciousness. Param Dhamma. Shankaraja has written Param Teja, ultimate shine, ultimate brightness. The meaning is one who is not depends on anybody, anyone for its own existence. It's called Param Teja, Satya, self effulgent. Everybody has same meaning, self effulgent, Swaprakasha. It is called Param Tejaha. Pavitram means Pavanam, purifier. What I have said, there are many purifiers. Air is purifier. Fire is a purifier. All different type of rivers are purifier. Even Japa, they purify our mind. There are different puja, all are purifier. But Paramam Prakrushtam means one who doesn't have even Punya Papa. By chanting Japa, we can have Punya. But whenever ultimate Prakrushtam means Paramam Purusham, means ultimate purifier, where there is a no Papa also, at the same time, no Punya. I always used to say Papa is like an iron shekel and Punya is a golden shekel. We can reach to Brahma Loka. It doesn't mean we are free. So Bhagwan is Paramam. Pavitram Paramam. Bhavan is a vocative case. Oh you, oh reverend. 
the deviated one. So he says, Bhavan, there is a no meaning. So it is just vocatic. Oh Lord, and who are you? To Purusham, Shashvatam, Shankaraja has no discussed anything. He's, I think Shankaraja is thinking, now it is the 10th chapter, everybody knows the meaning of Purusham and Navadvar. So we never discuss too much. So Purusham, he has not discussed Purayati Sarvam Shashvatam he has written is a Nityam, means eternal. Divyam, he says, Divi Bhava, it is called Divyam. Divi is Deva Loka, is called Div. And this is the seventh case, one who obtains in Svarga Loka, means about the earth, is called Divi Bhava. Divyam. That's why I have translated, which is not available in this mother earth. It's called Divyam. Alaukika. We used to say Alaukika. Laukika means in this word, Alaukika, which is not available in this earth. It is called Divyam. Adi Deva. Sarva Devanam Ado Bhava, which is the cause of all Devtas, are called Adi Devam. Ajam. Shankaraja has not described anything. Ajam means na jayate. It is called ajam. One who doesn't have any birth. Even now Janmashtami will come. But it is the birth of Vasudevasya Putra. It is not Krishna as a consciousness. So real nature of Lord Krishna is ajam. Even Krishna, Vasudevasya Putra has one body which is limited. But Real nature of Ishwara is Vibhu. So Vibhavan Shilaha, Vyapakaha, which is all pervading. As a Lord Krishna, as though it's seeming Bhagavan is limited in one body, but real nature is Vibhavan Shila, which is all pervading. So in Nirvan Shatakam, Aham Nirvikalpo Nirakara Rupaha, Vibhur Vyapya Sarvatra. That Vibhuhi also all pervading. Vibhuhu Vyapya. I am all pervading. This is the nature of Ishwara, Swarupa of Ishwara. And who are talking? Idrusham. Prashankaracha has written Idrusham. Like this, Ahuhu. Tvam Rushayaha. Sarve Rushayaha Tvam Ahuhu. All Rushis are talking about you. And who are this Rushi? So they have mentioned one Rushi from Devaloka. That's why he says Devarshi. So Devarshi Naradaha and other are Asitaha Devalaha Vyasaha. And Swayam, you yourself, may means to me. Bravishi, you talk about me, about your nature. So Shankaraja has not described anything much. So he says, Ahuhu means Kathayanti. They talk about Tvam means you. Rushayaha, Shankaraja has written, Vasishtha Adaya. There are many Rushis. In our mind, you know, Rushis means one who has white beard. One who wearing white clothes are called Rushi. But nowadays, there are many Rushis are available right now in this earth. So one who always live a life of Dharma are also called Rushi. One who propagate our Dharma are also called Rushi. One who never transgress any type of uh, Dharma are called Rushi. So at that time also Rushis, and he, right now also Rushis. There are many people, knowingly, unknowingly, these all people are called Rushi. Vashishtha Adayaha, and who are they? He says, Devarshi Naradaha. One is Devarshi Naradaha, another name is Asita. I don't know the detail of who is Asita Rushi. Devala Rushi, I know a little bit, but not in detail. Deval Rushi Api, even though Evam Aha Vyasa. So, Veda Vyasa Acharya, one who has written this Gita, 
Veda Vyasa Acharya, one who has written this all Mahabharata, that Veda Vyasa also, Swayam Aha, they talk, and who is last? Swayam Cha Eva Bravishi, even you yourself, Me Bravishi, you have talked about me, who, so I am Param Brahma, Param, that previous verse, all detailed. And now Arjuna is, you know, just keep on telling to Krishna. He says, whatever I have discussed in 12th verse, Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Devyam Paramam Bhavan, whatever, he says everything is true. So he says in this verse, Sarvam Etat Rutam Banyi. Actually, he is Sarvam Etat. This is Rutam. Etat Sarvam Rutam Manye Yatmam Vadasi Keshava. He means because Te Vyaktim Na Devaha Na Danava Ha Vidu. Actually means Sarvam Etat Rutam. Whatever you have speak about. Your true nature, everything is always satyam only. This is the truth only. We in Dasha Shanti Mantra, we say Rudam Vadishyami, Satyam Vadishyami. There are two words. One is Satyam and another is Rutam. The common meaning is truthfulness, truth. Common meaning is truth. But when we say together, Rutam Vadishyami, Satyam Vadishyami, then what is the difference between Satyam and Rutam? So they say, the meaning of Satyam is when I think this is the truth and we speak, it is called Satyam. Even we don't know if there are people still available in India, then they don't know Sun is stationary and earth is moving. So when they say, some, there are some people, they say, sun is traveling from east to west. They are speaking. They say, is it true or wrong? So for their thinking, it is satyam because they don't know the truth. So we can say it is a satyam because sun we saw in our naked eye is traveling, is a satyam. But when we know the truth, the sun is stationary, and by all proof, when we say sun is not traveling, is a stationary, then it is a rutam. So it says, what is given in Shastra, what is given in science, if we talk about them, then it is called rutam, and satyam means, I think what I am thinking is true. That what I know, so I speak, is called Satyam. This is the minor difference between Satyam and Rutam. So here, Rutam is we, then Satyam is not used. So we can say, this is the meaning, Sarvam Etat Rutam Manye. Arjuna says, I think, this is the main. Manye means I consider, I think, Sarvam Etat Rutam. Whatever describes the Swarupa of Ishwara in 13th verse, 12th verse, Sarvam Etat Rutam. You are, uh, you know, Param Brahma, Param Dhamam, everything, Pavitram Paramam Bhavan, everything is Rutam, Satyam. Yanmam Vadasi Keshava, whatever you have, speak to me. That everything, I think, everything is Rutam, everything is Satyam. Everything is truth because nobody can identify. Nobody can know who you are. So he says, no devaha. Even there is a no devtas and no danavaha. Even no demons, no even danava. Te vyaktim viduhu. Vyaktim means how you manifest. What is your real nature? Devaha, 
Naviduhu, even Dhanavaha Naviduhu, because you are Adi Deva. Because of you, Deva and Dhanava are possible. So nobody knows how is Prabhavam. Shankaracha has written, Vyakti means your manifestation. How you are created. What is your real nature? Nobody knows. So Sarvam Etad Rutam. Sarvam Etad. Shankaracha has written, Yathoktam. Whatever you have said, and not you only, Rushi Bihi and Tvaya. So whatever given in previous verses 12 and 13, Sarvam Etad, Yathoktam, Rushi Bihi and Tvaya, Tad, Rutam Eva. The meaning of Rutam, Shankaracha has written, Satyam Eva. Whatever given in 12th and 13th was, everything is correct only, truth only, you are all pervading, unborn, everything you are. This is manye. Manye means I consider. Fourth conjugation, I think this is yat maam prati vadasi. Maam, yan maam vadasi keshava. Yat, this old thing, maam means to me, prati vadasi. What you have speak to me, for me, I consider is a true. And why I I accepted everything is the truth? Because he Keshava. So this is Keshava is a vocative case. So O Keshava Na will come here. Te means Tava. Your He Bhagavan Vyaktim. So Vyaktim He Bhagavan is also vocative. So there are two vocative cases. He Keshava He Bhagavan Te Vyaktim, Te means Tava, your Vyaktim means Prabhava. Prabhava means your, how you come about, how you, there is an unborn, so nobody manifestation. There is, they don't know. Who don't know? Even na Devaha, na Dhanava. Even Devas don't know your manifestation. Even Dhanava also, they don't know actually who your glory is. This Deva and Dhanava, you, they don't know. And the cause is Adi Deva. You are the cause of Deva. That's why these people, Deva, Dhanava, they don't know. And cause, what is the cause? They don't know. Yata Hattvam Deva Dinam Adihi Ataha. Yataha no. The meaning of yataha means because. Tvam means you. Adihi. Cause. Adihi means. The cause of whom? Devadina. Adi we can add. Look here. There are two adi. If you have seen. So if adi comes without any word. The meaning of adi is beginning. And when this adi comes along with another word. The meaning is Adis, etc. So Adi, we can add, etc. means Danavaha. Even we can add Rushayaha. So this Deva, Rushi, Danavaha, they don't know who you are. Because you are the cause of everybody. Adi means you are the cause, the beginning of everybody. So again he says, Svayameva atmana atmanam vetthatvam purshottama bhuta bhavan bhutesha deva deva jagatpate. In this, this all names are vocative case. He purushottama, he bhuta bhavan, this all are vocative. He bhuta bhavan, he bhutesha, he deva deva, he jagatpate. One who is the exalted among all beings are called Pushottam. One who is the creator of all beings are called Bhuta Bhavana, Bhutesha. Who are the ruler of all beings are called Bhutesha, Deva Deva, Devanam Devaha. Who are the lord of all devtas 
and one who is the Lord of all Brahmanda universe, he jagat pate, tvam vetha, main sentence here is, you know, the meaning of vetha means the know. Tvam vetha, you know, and what Bhagavan knows, tvam vetha, svayameva, atmana, atmana. You know yourself, nobody can know you. So tvam vetha, you know, Atmana, yourself, by whom? Swayameva, yourself. Here the meaning of Atmana means your mind. So, O oh Lord, you know yourself by your mind. Nobody can recognize you. We can say Ishwara is the great, but we don't know what is the definition of greatness. Like, you know, Frog says, I know what is the water available in the well, but that frog knows only the water available in well. He doesn't know frog what is the ocean. Same way we know what is, we don't know what is the limitlessness. So how can we know, explain what is the greatness of Ishwara? So he says, nobody knows your greatness. Swayameva atmana atmanam vet. You know yourself, only yourself only. Nobody can recognize you. This is only Arjuna would like to convey. So, Swayameva. So, the meaning of Swayameva means you yourself only. Swayam means yourself. Here, Swayam means yourself. Eva means only. Atmana, by yourself. Atmanam with. You know yourself. Atmana, we can tell by your mind. By your buddhi, atmana means yourself. Like Puja Samadhi used to say, we can praise, we can have glories of Ishwara, but still we don't know how much glories of Ishwara. Like it's a tips of iceberg. How much glories we can't say. So who can know? He says, Tvameva Vetha. You know your glories. I cannot explain. Because you are Purushottama, then he says, who are you? So, Tvam means you are Nirati Shaya Gnane Aishwarya Baladi Shakti Matvam Ishwaram. Who are you? You are the Lord. So, the meaning of Tvam, Shankaracharya is explaining. Tvam means Ishwaram. You are the Lord. And who are you? Lord? So, Nirati Shaya, limitless. Nirati Shaya means limitless. We cannot measure Gnanam. We don't know how much. We say Sarvagya. But what is the meaning of all knowledge? Niratishaya. We cannot fathom it out. Niratishaya Gnanam means knowledge. Aishwaryam. Overlordship. We, can know, we cannot fathom it out. How much Ishwara is Aishwaryam? Bala. How much the strength of Ishwara, Bala, Adi, means etc. Adi Shakti, there are many powers Ishwara has. We cannot fathom it out. That is called Ishwara. That Ishwara, there are different names Arjuna is calling. He says, you are Purushottama. So your name is given. Purushottama means Purushana Madhye Yaha Uttamaha Purushottama. One who is the exalted among all beings are called Purushottama. Then, what is the meaning of Bhuta Bhavanaha? He says, Bhutani Bhavayati Iti Bhuta Bhavanaha. Bhutani Bhavayati. One, because of whom all beings are created. So you are the creator of all beings. The so bhavayati means creating. Because of whom everything is come out. So bhavayati means bhuta bha. So creator. So he is not even creator also. Bhutesha. He is the ruler. You know there is, I, you might have listened Pujya Swamiji many times. But there is a one suffix in Sanskritam is called Varapratyaya. 
the meaning of vara is santata bhave varach. So one who is always available, santata. Bhave varach. So whenever this suffix is added to some dhatu, the meaning is one who is always like this. So there is a one verb is called stha. When vara, the suffix added, it's called sthavaraha. Stha, we know the meaning is one always stand, one who cannot move. Sthavara means one who cannot be all one who cannot move, always stand. That's why all our trees are called sthavaraha. Mountains are called sthavara. So sthavara means one who is always remain. Unmovable, sthavara. There is another bhas. There is a one bhas verb means to shine. If we add var pratye, it becomes bhasvara. The one name of Lord Sun is bhasvara. One who is always shine, bhasvara. Same way, there is another verb. Is called ish means to rule. Ish is a verb, is to rule, it's become Ishwaraha. One who rules all the time. That's why he says, You are Ishwaram. You are always, you rule everyone. In terms of jnana, in terms of overlordship, in terms of strength, in terms of everything, he says, Adi Shakti Matvam Purushottam. Then, Bhutani Bhavayati, that we are saying. So, one who are creator of all beings, Bhutesha, again this Ish. So, Isha means to rule. So, one who is the ruler of all beings, are called Bhuteshaha Deva Deva, one who is the Lord of all Devas and one who is the Lord of all Jagat. So just Arjuna is praising Ishwara and lastly he will come, you just tell about your glories. That's why he is praising, nothing else. But still he is talking about two verses, I think. So he says, your Atma Vibhuta Yaha, you, only you can tell about me. So you please tell us. And again he says, how we can, I can meditate it upon you. Then Bhagwan will start to talk about his Vibhutis. But we will see next week. So any question? No question, Swamiji. Today was very clear, but I have a small joke for the class. You said people in India don't believe sun is traveling in the right direction, or they think yeah. Earth is. Uh, I mean, Earth is stationary and sun is revolving. Oh. We, we have more such people in the U.S. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They also believe Earth is a flat, not a sphere. Oh. They make money out of all these controversies. Oh. <laughs> so we have more idiots here. <laughs> I think our Indians, you know, these our rishis, all our rishis, they know before even this all invention, the sun is round. Everything we have we have invent many many years before. Even our times, you know, the even we have only second. We have there are. They have cut this second in 60 times, our Indians, and they have given different names. Second also, they have, have given 60 times. They are more smart, actually. You are, what you have said is true. Yeah, I think India is one of the best uh, civilizations that had the best uh, concept about large and small numbers. Um, anyway, I was, you, because you mentioned it, how did 
How did they know there were seven continents? That has always amazed me. Meaning. Yeah, Saptadipa Masundara, and even at that right. time also, yeah, seven continents, yeah, then we know. Yeah, How they know, we don't and... know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saptadipa Masundara, Dvipa means island. Mm. So many things, you know, even earth, we, we know this, how the sun, earth, everything, we know. And this, that's why astronomy is so much powerful, our <laughs> Everything is calculation. It's a science only. Now they have made only astrology, this palm is Actually, our calculation is the so perfect at that time. Nowadays also, is very perfect. But this is little bit is just run away. Nobody, there are no people are available. One who know this all science. Only few. Mm. Swamiji, this um, Asita, Asita Maharshi, yeah. you know, I, I know like um, he comes in Bhagavan Buddha's life, you know, uh, he he's the Rishi who predicted that Buddha, um, Gautama would become, Siddhartha would become either a great emperor or a great jnani, you know. Okay, uh, then he went to the father of the Yeah, Siddhartha. Su okay. Suddho, Suddhodana, 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 he went to Suddhodana. Okay. Apparently, he was the guru of Suddhodana, like teacher, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Um, but then uh, I, I also found out that uh, Asita, um, Asita Devala, like uh, they, they are not two Maharshis, they are just one. <laughs> yes, so uh, in, in previous I, time, they have two, two names, one from so their all ancestor and some is for personal name, something like that. Yeah, and his under his name apparently there is a chapter in Shanti Parva okay. of Mahabharata, the two hundred and seventy fifth chapter called Asita Devala uh, something, and uh, there he expounds on the Sankhya philosophy. Okay. So uh, he is considered to be a Sankhya uh, Rishi, <laughs> you know. Okay. Yeah. Even in but 30... you know, like Gita, Gita does a lot of synthesis of Sankhya and yeah. Vedanta, right? And even uh, Bhagavan also has chosen this model of Sankhya, Purusha Prakriti. Always he used to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everywhere you see Sankhya and Gita, the the yeah. gunas and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even in the Taitreya Upanishad, Brukurve Varuni Varunam Pitaram Upasasara. Bhruku ve Varuni, Varuni and Varuna. So Bhruku ve hmm. Varuni, the name of uh, personal name is Bhruku and his father's name is Varuni. Then Varunam Pitara Mupasasa, he approached to his father Varuna. So always two, two, three, three hmm. names. One from maternal, one from paternal, one is own. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Shall we do Puna Mother? <laughs> So where this is given, Asita Devala, huh? this Asita. Yeah, I will. I will send. I will send you this. Uh, I found an article in uh, in uh, JSTOR. JSTOR is a repository of uh, philosophy and all kinds of things. And uh, there is a, a scholar who has written an article on uh, uh, Bandarkar's one uh, fiftieth birth anniversary volume. <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, it, it, it was Bandarkar's Oriental Research Institute that Asita Devala chapter in Shanti Parva. It's called. So I will I will send the article. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one two zero eight. The chapter was one two zero something. You spoke. I have Mahabharata. I will check this. <laughs> yeah. Two seventy fifth chapter in Shanti Parva. Two seventy fifth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Om Puranamadav Puranamidam Puranamidam Puranat Puranamudachete Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranamiva Vashishete Om Shri Guru 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 Shri